It's Libby here with Corporate Catwalk. So I'm excited to show you one of my everyday looks that I do to my hair. So this is just a typical hair, I'm gonna say the hair tutorial, but this is what I typically do to my hair. So if I'm going to any events or if I'm going out or what have you, this is how I curl my hair, no matter clean, not clean, whatever. So this is the look that I typically do. Um, what you'll need is, what I use and what I found best is that the Sultra Wand works really well. For my hair, since it is really, I don't have thick hair, I have a lot of really, it's not thin, like medium hair, and my hair is really, 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 really curly. One day I'm going to show you guys what it looks like normally, and then this. Um, but what I do, and what I've seen work well, is this thing gets really hot. I, I don't know how hot it is, but it gets really hot, it's hotter than most curling irons. So for my hair, it holds the curl, especially after the second day. So like, the first day after I wash my hair, it's great. It looks really pretty and my hair looks really fluffy, but my curls tend to stay better the second day. So like yesterday I washed it, so these curls will stay all day today and they look shiny because um, my hair is clean and uh, I did put some product, a little product in it. Um, but the secret to it is this paddle brush. So you have these like really tight curls, but you want to make sure to brush them out a little bit just so they're a little softer around your face. Um, you don't have to do ringlets everywhere, like you can just do them in certain places in your hair too. So it really just depends on like what I feel like doing for the day. Um, but this is what I typically do. So hopefully you guys like the tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions and if you guys would just subscribe below if you want to see more videos and let's see what else we got for you. Oh, let me know what other ideas you guys have. If you guys want to see other things from me and Corporate Catwalk, let me know below. Just comment in the section below and I section below it and I'd be happy to do some more videos for you guys. Uh, I love hair tutorials so hopefully you guys will see more of those in the near future. Alright, enjoy the tutorial. Bye everyone! Okay, so I'm starting off with some really flat, flat hair. So I did flat iron my hair here. Um, I typically don't. I try to put some curl in. Anyways, what I'll do is I'll start with putting some hairspray on my hair. I will section off my hair into three different sections and I start with the front the first pieces closest to my face and I always curl those away from my face I didn't leave this curl on long enough but for the bottom parts since they are on the bottom what you want to do is make sure that they are a little bit tighter than the top ones just because they do go flatter faster <laughs> yes there you go so I'm leaving this one on a little bit longer so this will help Alright, so I keep going all the way around my hair here. So these are a little bit straighter. I'll section off to the middle section here. And again, I'll start with the pieces closest to my face. And what you'll notice is that my curl is kind of flat. Like I make sure it's not twisted or anything like that, which helps kind of keep that shine in. And I'll go around, alternate here. And what I'll do is curl that again away from my face. Do do do. What's next? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know why I always touch the iron. It's always hot and I always wear myself. Okay, so I'll move on to the back of the hair. The back of the hair, as we all know, it's not as important as the front pieces just because it blends a little bit better. But what you can see here is that I take a little time and make sure that all those pieces in the back are curled. There's nothing worse than leaving like a little stray hair like this one right here. So what I do here is I pick this little stray hair up and curl it as well. Again, it doesn't matter the direction. Um, it's nice when you have alternating curls so all your hair doesn't go in the same direction. It gives your hair a little more volume as well. Okay, the top of my hair, which I think is the most important, is I take that section, actually take the top section and section off into three different part, four different parts. So what I'll do is start with the back here and I do roll my curling iron just because it does give a little bit more volume. Probably not that much volume, but it gives some volume. And the top pieces I tend to hold into place great hair. So I'll do that towards my face, curl it towards my face, and I'll keep the curl together right there. Do you see that? And the curl is just a little bit tighter than the others. All right, then I'll move around to the other parts. And I'll do the same here, just roll the curling iron a little bit to give myself a little more volume. For this one I did, if you want your hair to have a little less curl, you can per, per, uh, 
pull, oh my goodness, you can pull on the curls so they're a little bit straighter. Okay, so I'm all finished. As you'll see, this is like the curly cue. I used to actually wear my hair like this in high school. Oh my goodness. All right, then I'll take a flat um, paddle brush and slowly but surely brush through all the curls. And I'm in no hurry whatsoever. Sometimes I like to use the ones with the bristles, but this one I just wanted to use a regular one because I didn't want too much volume. And what I will do here is I always, see, I always tend to curl my hair right down the middle. And what I'll do after that is I'll take the section either from the left or right and I'll pull it over just to give myself a little more volume up front. Since my hair is kind of thick, it my hair weighs down really easily as you can see. So that is all though. I am finished up. It's pretty easy. I think one of the things you have to have for these type of tutorials is some patience and some time and a little practice. Um, I do um, often, or I do often tend, my goodness, <laughs> I do spray it down before I'm done just to finish up the look to have the curls hold a little bit longer. But that is it. I am all finished for the day and I am ready to go out and about with my hair. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Bye!